Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister, and I want to start by quoting this from yesterday's unanimous decision from the Alberta Court of Appeal. Quote, the declaration of invalidity on Carter does not require that the applicant be terminally ill. The decision itself is clear. No words in it suggest otherwise. The interpretation urged on us by the Government of Canada is not sustainable. In light of this, would the government be willing to entertain the amendments now before this place at report stage to ensure that C-14 is compliant with the Charter? The, uh, the Honourable, right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I thank the member for her question. Uh, I, the, uh, one of the uh, things that comes out of that uh, Alberta decision uh, was indeed the need for a proper framework uh, whereby requests uh, for mis medical assistance in dying can be evaluated. And that's why uh, in the uh, bill we put forward, uh, there is a strong framework for uh, consultation of physicians uh, and uh, participation in that. Uh, in regards to amendments, they've already been studied at committee, uh, and uh, we, uh, we have made our determinations around those. Yes. Yes.